I saw I was thinking like, I want to buy land in Baraka and just have my own little island paradise. Right, there. right. But, uh, but uh, look, you guys, listen, you know, before before I lost my money, the plan was I was going to buy a little piece of um, property on Boracay and so on and so forth. And, mm. you know, um, I almost did. And I'm so glad that I didn't now because um, because of the circumstances, I've been told that that property of mine could have been seized <sighs> even if I was out of the country. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if that that could have been a possibility. So uh-huh. look, in hindsight, I'm pretty happy that I that I didn't okay. put down. But Braga, you know, Braga is still a beautiful place. We, yes. we, don't, we don't want to discourage. Uh, we don't want to discourage like, you know, people best, from around really. the, the world who'd want to visit the Philippines or uh, Braga. No, it's the best. Yeah, it, it it is is, best. I'm, I'm about to do a big article on Boracay, and uh-huh. it's been the most exciting article that I've ever written mm-hmm. because it's I've contacted a lot of my friends there mm-hmm. for quotes and so on and so forth. And no, Boracay, it, it was the best experience of my life, and for, for, for reasons other than people may think. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, I had normal friends there, I, ha- I lived a normal life. Yes. I didn't <laughs> live an outrageous life. We can, we can, we can <laughs> but see my mother was there for a good portion uh-huh. of the time. I spent a lot of time with my dog and my yaya, and yeah. it, I had a beautiful time. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. We can I had a lot of money. Time. And, yeah. um, uh, I miss it very much, and yes, of course, I'd like to come back. Maybe one in the day. future we'll, we'll put up like a uh, like a business there. You, me, and Grace. Yeah, we'll, like we'll a, put up like a little Korean restaurant, a Korean gay, a, a <laughs> gay bar oh, on top, and then a, a Korean restaurant on the bottom with dog grooming, and then a gay bar on top. Yeah. Oh, oh, you, know nice. what want, you know what I want? I want an Andox card up at Station One. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, I love I, I love, love Andox. Andox. But, uh, right between right between Discovery Shores and Fridays, I want an right. Andox card. Uh, you <laughs> know what? Before we move on to any other topic, I really wanted to. Um, I, I actually talked about this on air a while ago, right before we spoke to you, Brian. Mm-hmm. No mentioning of names. Uh, we'll not mention the person's names. And um, and I talked to you about it, too. But I wasn't in embassy. I was in cuisine. I was there for like 30 minutes uh, with my friends who dropped them off uh, for a couple of drinks. And apparently this person came up to talk to me. But a lot of people thought that this person literally attacked me <laughs> and it was, mm-hmm. it was it was quite funny because um Not verbally like maybe verbally, verbally attack. attacked me and i i also understand where they're coming from because from their point of view it could have looked like that but in reality it wasn't and you know brian it's really funny because i was there and like an hour after people knew about it so much and like I know. Mojo was in Boracay and you knew about it and I was like, I, I got dozens gosh. of emails before I got out of bed <laughs> and um, the world look, is a look, small in place all fairness, right, in all right. fairness Grace uh-huh. I did I did go back mm-hmm. through that post okay. and um, uh, change it a bit to reflect mm-hmm. that the, the news I got from from a first hand source so mm-hmm. it's but you know, when I woke up to all those emails, I thought, "Wow, th- I really imagine, I really imagine you being, <laughs> you know, attacked. verbally attacked." <laughs> and, and, but who'd want to attack and I, a beautiful I felt Grace? So bad. I was having breakfast, and I thought, "Oh, geez, now Grace can't <laughs> even go out clubbing without being." <laughs> but uh, well, I, I think things are, are clarified now. You know, yes. We're working on those. Uh, really quickly, I wanted to talk about uh, your blog because I, I know our interview is running uh, a little bit over right now. But uh, you've added new features like these whole polls, like. Uh, right. Right, it's so vote, interesting. You can vote for something. Brilliant. And this week, you know, there's that big scandal on YouTube that happened uh, regarding this one guy that. And all had the a, tapes are off, off now. Yeah, they're you can't off name now. them again. But the, the the Vicente Soto hospital scandal yeah. uh, about uh, this uh, gay guy that had a canister of perfume shoved up his rectum yeah. or something it was stuck up yeah. there, and they video yeah. the doctors and nurses videotaped it, and it yeah. was like a whole fiasco the way that they were treating well, the patient. Well, they videotaped patient. it. They took photos. When the doctor removed the canister, he took the lid off and he started spraying the contents <gasps> around the room. Oh my yeah. god! I mean, you no. know, and they were videotaping it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's one of the most despicable things I've ever seen in my life. So I wrote about it on my blog, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, because not only because I'm a gay man, but mm-hmm. because I'm very passionate uh, about um, privacy in a hospital. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it, it's already you already lose a certain amount of dignity when your legs are spread open for the entire room to see, I know, let alone it, the entire world. On YouTube. I mean, you know, so I wrote about it. And okay. boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy, I, I, I was up until 4 o'clock in the morning, you know, shaking because I thought for sure that a hit squad was coming to get me. <gasps> Apparently, I'm not allowed to write about um, anything that happens within the borders of the Philippines. Why not? Appar- 
Well, I don't know. Apparently, me, me, I don't know. I asked the, I asked the readers, is it because I'm white? What, what, and so? Why, why can't I write about this, this, this scandal? Uh-huh. I, I'm a gay man. Uh-huh. That, trumps, uh-huh. that trumps my ethnicity. I can write about any story that I want to write about in any country. Exactly. Yeah. I, I mean, I so, could write about so, China, about Beijing Olympics. I could write about it. If uh, what I thought know, that they were doing to Tibet was wrong, then you know what, who's Grace? to stop me? You know what, Grace? I said that on my post. What uh-huh. if none of us talked about Darfur? What about what if none of us talked about the Balkans? What, you know, what? So the Philippines, they just want to be this isolated nation and not discussed or thought about by the rest of the world? But yeah, that they cannot do. be possible. They do. It's because a global it's a world. Trickle, it's a trickle-down effect from corruption. Nobody wants anybody to know anything about the Philippines, right? right. Everything bad. Has, 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 well, you know, the, the problem with my blog, it, 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 people from 37 countries read my blog every day. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I, 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 I'm angry not? about this <laughs> issue, and yes. I'm angry about the bishops and the priests coming mm-hmm. out publicly and blaming the victim of this of this horrific scenario. Well, what did they say? The, what did they say about? I don't think about? the church. I, quite frankly, I don't think the church has any business whatsoever getting involved with a scandal that really has only to do with the Philippines uh, Medical Association. Well, uh, yes, the, 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 Medical Association. The here, that's the only the way the problem was, should be viewed. They drew the issue saying that uh, the guy kind of uh, putting deserved it because he was that gay. That's so that's wrong. wrong. That that's is, so so what? So when a, when a, when a baby comes out breach. With the umbilical cord around its neck, and they have to, you know, what, what, is it the mother's fault that something's gone wrong? Mm-hmm. You know, it's not, you have to understand, it has no, it has no, it re, who cares why he's there? He's in a hospital. Did you a just hospital take care of him? is there to, to provide you with care, mm-hmm. nurturing, recovery, mm-hmm. not to videotape. Um, the, the, the already disastrous scenario yeah. in your life to, for public consumption. It's, you know, these people who did this should not only lose their licenses, but they should, some of them should go to jail.